you're back. Good. I made some progress with the Hope Root map. Let's talk. I'm still deciphering the map from Hope Root. I can't yet make sense of all the notes, but I figure that any location marked on the map must be important to the recollection. How did your investigations go? You've been busy, friend. Hmm. Huh. Did you learn anything at Feldegard Keep and the Outcast Inn that might clear up the last nagging questions I've got about the Hope Root map? Tell me what happened. I fought off Shard Master Vargas at the Feldegard Keep and acquired the Blade Abolisher. So, the planned attack on Feldegard Keep was with Daedric forces, not the Recollection? A good thing you were there to help Tribune Alea defend the fortress. And that blade you acquired. Any sword with a name must be important. <laughs> okay. Uh, we met uh, Ithelia at, at the old casting. You helped Ithelia remember herself? Isn't that what the recollection is trying to do? I suppose you had a good reason, but still. Entangled realities? A strange tale, friend. That's a problem rather beyond my experience. I'm glad you were there to sort things out. And you recovered a lamp? Sounds like some sort of relic. It might be important. As I hoped, your account explains these last few marks on the Hope Root map. Not only were the inn and the keep noted, there's another site the Recollection's interested in. An alien ruin called Neriostere. We need to investigate that ruin next. Neriostere lies in the western Colovian hills. It's rather dilapidated and haunted. I had a harrowing experience there back when I was actively adventuring. Laramil wants to speak with you. Talk to her, then meet me at Neriostere. It was a long time ago, friend. Close to 40 years now. I was part of an adventuring company that explored Neriostere's great hall in the nearby chambers. We didn't get very far, though. Neriostere was too dangerous for the band I was with. In addition to traps, the alien ruin was full of undead guardians. But the worst obstacles were the collapsed passages and buried doors. The recollection won't get far without a lot of digging. The permutations of fate created a high probability that you'd... Um, <clears throat> I would like to talk about the relics I heard you describe to Baragon. The Lamp of Clarity and Abolisher are two of the relics once used to defeat and imprison Athelia. So Asura's relic and Boethia's relic. So we need Mephala's relic as well. Exactly. Abolisher, forged by Boethia to cut a path to Athelia wherever she walks. The Lamp of Clarity. Created by Azura to illuminate the many paths. And the skein of secrets. Woven by Mephala to show where Athelia and the Unseen could be found. Okay, skein of secrets. But we don't have. No, we do not. Torvasad told us in Mephala's nest that the skein was lost in an alien vault. Given the recollection's interest in Neriostere, I think we know which one. Torvasad used Abolisher to open the way to Athelia's prison. He knows the relics can be used to return her there, and will do anything to prevent that. These ancient tools may be the keys to saving Westweald, and perhaps all of reality. The blade, the lamp, and the skein counted Athelia's power in ancient times. I think they can do so again. You and Baragon are fated to seek the skein of secrets in Neriostere. I have my own tasks, and shall find you when it is time to finish this. My appointed tasks range far beyond West Weald, Proxy. While you deal with Athelia's servants, Nantherian and Vargas, I seek her first scion, Torvasad, the author of all these troubles. You and I shall cross paths again soon enough. Okay, so she's doing her own thing here, and going after Torvasad, which is interesting. We observed Torvasad using Abolisher to open portals. Creating a portal is not difficult, and I am rather proficient at it myself. But Abolisher appears to do it swiftly, and with great precision. I suspect it can destroy them as well. The lamp allows us to gaze into the many paths. 
Think of that as a halo of possibilities and alternate fates that surrounds our own reality. Things can be real in the many paths that are not real here. We may need it to confront Athelia. That remains to be seen, Proxy. We have observed the effects of Abolisher and the Lamp firsthand. The skein, however, has been hidden for thousands of years. I presume its function will become apparent once you recover it. Okay. Might, might be interesting. Road. As if Daedra weren't enough. What was he thinking? You there! I'm a captain in the Westweald Legion, and I require your assistance. I was leading a patrol hunting Daedra when one of my own legionaries attacked me. An orc named Ulrath. Such traitorous behavior endangered us all. Since I'm injured, could you locate whatever remains of my squadron? For mercenary pay, of course. When the Daedra ambushed us and Ulrath turned on me, I ordered the patrol to take shelter in Fort Hastral, to the northwest. Any survivors should be there. I need to know what happened to Ulrath, and to my squad. Report back to me with any news. If you find my squadron, tell them that Captain Dartorius sent you. Order them to stay put at Fort Hastral, and wait for me to join them. I'll stay here, until you tell me it's safe. If you run into Ulrath, be careful. He's a cold-blooded killer. You must be aware of the strange Daedra popping up all over Westweald. While the Legion is stretched thin, we're not helpless. My soldiers were patrolling this region when the very Daedra we were tracking turned the table on us. If I only knew! I was at the head of the patrol about to lead the Daedra away to give my legionaries a chance when Ulrath cut me down. Yeah. That orc was always complaining, but to disobey a direct order? <laughs> Probably upset I never gave him that promotion. I wonder if the orc was cult member. He certainly thought so. Expected to be made a sergeant just because I had him performing those duties for the squad. For all I know, Ulrath was in league with these Daedra. It wouldn't surprise me. He's a tough, nasty orc who hates taking orders. Yeah. I suppose that that uh, description fits to many, many orcs. Okay, soldiers are dead. Careful. I've lost a lot of comrades today, so I'm not in a trusting mood. Who are you and what do you want? What happened to the squad? She's what happened to the squad. She froze when we spotted the Daedra. Refused to give a coherent order. I stepped in and she went crazy. Commanded the squad to engage a masterfully superior force. Then she turned to flee. Not hardly. She led her soldiers into a slaughter and then ordered them to cover her retreat. I cut her down, then rallied the squad and headed for this keep. We fought a running battle. I'm all that's left. Now it's my word against an officer's. The only thing I can do... Run. I'm no coward, and I don't want to be labeled a deserter, but what choice do I have? A captain's word carries more weight than lowly orc legionaries. A lot more. I wrote a report. Will you give it to the captain? Not that I owe you an explanation, but everything I said is true. I wrote it all down. My report to the legion. I doubt the captain will pass it along, but at least my conscience is clear. As for me, tell her I died, or I'm a deserter, I don't care. I don't, not anymore. But I used to idolize her, did everything I could to help her lead our squadron. 
Once the fighting stopped and I had a moment, I composed my report to explain what happened here. I left it over there, but you can take it. I finally saw our captain's true face. She used to be a great leader. I would have followed her to oblivion and back. But lately, she's been struggling. I helped as I could, doing what a sergeant would do, even without the rank. Then, today happened. It's all in my report. Never since our first encounter with the Daedra a few weeks ago, she's been off, confusing orders, contradictory commands. When we walked into the ambush, she was like a rabbit in a snare. I tried to take command. She went wild, ordered the patrol to attack what was clearly a superior Daedric force. Then she fled, used her soldiers to cover her own escape. I just reacted, struck her a glancing blow. Now, tell her I deserted. Or died. The f Interesting. It's good to see someone who still knows how to follow orders. Did you make it to the fort? Did you find my squadron? What remained? Speak plainly, mercenary. What's the condition of my squadron? And what about the treacherous orc, Ulrath? Let's say that he, uh, they are dead. A report? You didn't read it, did you? No matter. My report supersedes Ulrath's anyway. At least that orc got what he deserved. How dare he contradict, uh, um, disobey <laughs> my orders. Here, the mercenary pay I promised. You earned it. No matter how many times you lose a squadron, it never gets any easier. No need to stick around, mercenary. I'll be ready to head out myself in another few moments. It's legendary old wrath report true. Truth is written by the victors, mercenary. Haven't you learned that by now? The only truth is what I disclose to my superiors. Everything else is simply rumor and conjecture. Unfortunately, this kind of thinking is ha happens even today. Hello, friend. That's Neriosteray over there, surrounded by a recollection stockade. I guess it's nice to know I correctly interpreted the map we found in Hope Root. But it does pose a problem. Assaulting a recollection camp isn't our objective. Laramil says we need to find the skein of secrets. That's likely somewhere in the vaults of Neriostere. I recall a set of stairs leading down in the middle of the ruins. We should start there. I've seen a few recollection scouts come and go while I've been watching, but I haven't seen any of their leaders. Of course, I have no idea what's waiting for us in the underground portions of the ruins. If you want to hit them head on, I'll follow your lead and help as I can. But there might be an easier way to get where we need to go. Before we commit to an attack, why don't we scout the perimeter and see what other options present themselves? Let's look around and try to keep out of sight until we're ready to make a move. I wonder if there's like battles we need to hide. Main gate. Lots of recollection there. No way we're getting through them without a fight. The sentries here are predictable. We might be able to slip by them, or we could try the path to the north. 
Although, I don't know where that leads. I think we've seen enough. Let's compare notes. Looks like we've got multiple options for getting inside. From what I recall, we'll find the stairs to the buried halls in the middle of the stockade. Assuming the recollection hasn't blocked them up, that is. It depends if we want to announce our arrival or stay hidden. The gate to the east is heavily defended. But there are fewer sentries at the west entrance. I think we could slip by them. Or we could try the path to the north. That's a good question. Sometimes natural fissures or caves provide hidden entrances to buried ruins. I saw no recollection forces in that direction, so it might be worth investigating. Your call, friend. I'll follow your lead. Traveler! Did you stop? I'm very lost. And a bit whoopsie. <laughs> oh. Drunk orc. Uh, hello there. Where are you, and... maybe? Well, I don't know. I'm lost and drunk. Very drunk. I just started a new job. At a vineyard. Somewhere in Westweald. I don't know my way around here that well. The one with the grapes. <laughs> they give you a few bottles when you sign on. I thought Westfield wine would be piddly, like elf wine. Let me tell you, it's not. So, which way should I go to get somewhere? <laughs> Anywhere. Preferably the vineyard. Great. Yes. Tell me. I've got work in the morning. Don't want to be late. Violent vineyards? Yes, this wine has been violent. Can we see her at that? I'm gonna head off then. At that Bye. location. I wonder. Thank you. I hope I remember all this in the morning because you're my new best friend. I love friends. Right. Apparently they have actually fortified this place. So, one dead. And cultists. And probably undead cultists as well. Be careful. I remember encountering some deadly traps. What's the part thread? That's pretty <laughs> new book. The door to the south leads to Neriostere's vault, but it's sealed by this Welkin stone. Hmm. The recollection's working on the puzzle. Let's look at their notes. Ah. Uh. Interesting. I've got no talent for spells, but I picked up a bit of arcane lore in my time. The ancient aliens were fascinated with light. They devised ways to harness its magicka, or draw it from ethereal crystals, like this burnt-out stone. 
Great Welkin stones like this one powered mighty enchantments. They could make buildings float in midair, maintain networks of magical portals, or seal impassable gates. I think this is exactly what we're looking for. Someone in the recollection thinks so. Besides, you don't build a door like that or a lock with a Welkin stone without a reason. Explore. Do you see the empty sockets? The mage I came here with years ago thought we needed lesser Welkins to restore the Great Welkin Stone, but we couldn't find any. Judging from these notes, the Recollection's experiencing the same problem. Good idea, friend. The Lamp and Abolisher give us an advantage previous explorers didn't have. I suggest we start with the East Passage and look for a way up to the North. The Recollection Major's notes suggest we might find something there. It looks like Nantherian intends to plant more wildburn seeds. I thought we were finished with all that at Hope Root. What really worries me is the suggestion that the wildburn ritual has another purpose. Planting seeds to wake the power that sleeps in the darkened home. I thought Nantherian wanted to cover Westweald in a great forest. But maybe the wildburn is just the collateral damage of his real purpose. What's a darkened home? I have no idea. I dimly recall seeing that turn of phrase somewhere before. A translation of an old alien name, maybe? But where the darkened home is and what's there, I couldn't say. I'm sorry to say that one of my principal talents as an adventurer was getting into places I wasn't supposed to be. I generally served as the trap expert and lock picker of the party. Guess I've always been interested in puzzles. I came here as part of a small adventuring company. We hoped to find some treasure overlooked by other explorers. We parted ways long ago. Okay. So. This means, means lots and lots of work. The gate blocked by rubble. I think a polisher might help us here. I thought there should be like a undead, zombies, skeletons roaming around here, but no, okay. That's not... There's lots of really good storms here. Okay, so it's up, up there. Ah! There, there were stairs. Let, let's head back. This is why I constantly watch the map. Another stone! Take it, friend! That's three lesser stones. There should be one more to find. This uh, expansion done some parts. Because there's, there's, there's lots lots of small details. So somebody has had had time to craft this level. This must be the pit mentioned in the recollection note. Can we use a polisher here? I 
think the lamp found another stone. Give it a try. Amazing. The lamp pulled the stone into our reality somehow. That's the last of them. Let's return to the Great Welkin Stone and see if we can open the vault. This is a bit, bit like Metroidvania. So when you have those items, you can unlock other other places from the dancers. Okay, now now there's undead. So this this wasn't so illogical than what I what I thought. Although there's Velkin stones all over, so I wonder what what's the complaint about not finding them. Maybe they were meant to be special stones or something. Because keeping keeping writing, game writing and and level design, uh, talking talking about same thing. Concurrent, it's is. Enter the vault, yes. It is pretty difficult. Left left hand doesn't know what the right hand does. That's the problem. Just think. No one set foot in here in ages. Except for any alien undead that might be around. Looks like an Elder Scroll. Go ahead and take it. We shouldn't linger here. Over there, friend. Isn't that an Echonia manifestation? We should see what it reveals. Why do you trouble my prince, Sir Daedra? The many paths splinter. Mm, manipulate fate. In ways that were not meant to be. What I do, I do for the good of all. Why can you not see that, Mora? I am not alone in my concerns, Athelia. Constrain yourself, or we will constrain you. And you will fail. Now be gone. A memory of Athelia arguing with Hermaeus Mora. Have you ever seen such a thing? An ancient quarrel between Daedric princes is beyond me, friend. But it's clear Mora attempted to reason with Athelia. She willfully ignored his warning, and was too strong for him to overpower without help. A good point. And now we have the three relics they used to defeat the Prince of Paths. The question is, where and how to use them? We know what Abolisher and the Lamp of Clarity do. But we have no idea how to use the skein. So Elder Scrolls numerology. Uh, three is a good number, four is a bad number. I'll take the skein of secrets home and study it. Laramil thinks it's important, and King Nantharian didn't want us to get it. Whatever he's planning, I bet the skein can help us stop him. I'll meet you back in Skingrad, friend. But then, then again, Ithelia wouldn't be like the first Daedra they sundered. I mean, I mean, Mal Malakath is said to be born from from the fact that uh, Poetia uh, sundered him and took his uh, like lightning likening. Um, yeah, weird stuff. But yeah, definitely those three were the most strongest. Uh, that, that that could do a. Uh, Oh shit on other data, basically. Then remain calm, Lady Sawera. Perhaps that's enough. <laughs> that's the partner we get. Ah, my friend! Would you believe it? You are speaking to the new jester of Skingrad. Count Calantius was delighted by my performance. Or maybe amused is a better word. Hard to read him, really. 
Oh, yes. We have to up the ante now. Need to give them a bit of BAM, and then a little bit of ooh. You know how the masses are. They always want to be wowed. It's a bit more dangerous than the last one. I need to get it just right. It may take longer, but we'll get it eventually. But thank you for all you've done for us. These little guys have been rolling in treats. And I've been rolling in fame. Time for a rest, friends. No need to push ourselves too hard now.